nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen <clears throat> Well... Got a uh, heater unit here, and uh, so we got to inspect it and make sure everything looks good. Yeah. Well, we actually do have a uh, hazmat load, so we got to make sure that all these uh, placards are on here in good shape. Lights are all working. Let's check my tires real quick and do a walk around make sure everything is in good shape and oh look at that everything is uh, a little bit white I know it's a little windy out here and yeah, my lights are all working so that's good my seal is still intact that means my load is still secured my placards are all all on over here so that's good anyways we just gotta make a Quick inspection here on my uh, tractor trailer and then uh, we'll be on our way. Now these placards are all on too. Blinker is working. So that's fantastic. So that way that means we can get out of here. That's right. I already checked. My brakes are not frozen. Those placards over there are on too. You can see that. Yeah. A little, little bit of a tiny gas station slash truck stop over here, so uh, we can park here overnight. So there we go. Everything seems to be uh, looking pretty good. So uh, I guess we'll go in and get us a cup of coffee, and then we'll make our way down uh, towards home. This is it, guys. Here we go. Let's check to make sure that our wheels are turning. From what I can see they are, yep, at least the trailer ones are all, I can't really see the tracker one on this side, but generally they are turning. I can see the driver's side, but uh, can't really see the passenger side there, but I have a pretty good feeling that they are turning because uh, I've been around a few times, you know, and uh, I have had the wheels lock up and I know what that feels like, you know. I can generally feel it when I shift gears. If my wheels are not turning, you know. Yeah. So let's get back on the road here and uh, let's get the rest of the miles in home. Thanks for joining us today and let's see what kind of interesting day we can have today because uh, as you know we had a snowstorm here last night so actually it was ice raining like crazy so let's go see what the roads look like today I mean yesterday was there uh, for a little while it was a little a little bad there, but then after a little while it started getting better. It was still snow covered, and ice covered, but uh, it wasn't slippery anymore, you know? It wasn't like where I was spinning trying to get up the hill, you know? See, now it's dry pavement pretty much. It's a little wet, but uh, if my wheel was not turning, I would definitely be able to feel that. That's for sure. Look at that big truck there, he's just giving her, trying to beat me, you know, so he doesn't have to wait for me. Oh well, I guess that's okay. Oh, there's another penner in there. Yeah, there he is. I have to say good morning to him. Terrace Bay, 171 kilometers, Thunder Bay was 389. We got probably about four hours to Thunder Bay. So that's a 
good run. I'll probably stop there at the Flying J. That Flying J probably gonna go take me a shower or take me a little break. And then put the hammer down and get the rest of the way home, right? That's the plan anyways. It has certainly cooled off overnight. When I left Toronto, I think I had like plus 14 and now it's like minus six. So it definitely has cooled off a bit, you know. So anyways, let's get going and get our cruise going and let's uh, get some good miles behind us. We got a thousand and forty-five kilometers from here to go home. Alrighty guys, here up to the left here, this is the rest area where we uh, slept at a couple of days ago. And that's uh, where I got uh, pretty much stuck. The guys park, one guy parked right beside me and another guy right ahead of me. So I couldn't get out. So I actually had to wake up a guy there to, uh, to get him to move so I could get out of the parking spot there, you know. But anyways, that's uh, that's where I slept the first night when I came down towards Toronto. So now we're past that point, and uh, yeah, anyways, we are just cruising right along here, and having our cup of coffee. That's right. Oh, that's a good cup of coffee. Anyways, we'll get down on the road here and see what else we'll be able to show you today. And we'll be right back. You gotta be crazy to do this crap. Driving down the road here with a dog and some stuff on a little wagon here. In the, in the snow. But come on, you know? You couldn't do that in summer? <laughs> wow, you know, driving down here on the road with some little wagon and or walking down the road with some little wagon and having a dog on you like, you must be crazy to do that <laughs> well anyways we're just cruising along here and yeah roads are good today though they really are we got a bit of a hill to climb up here so we'll put the hammer into it get get up this hill it's a fairly steep one as well we will probably have to shift a few gears, possibly. I've been asked to uh, show me going up the hill without having to use the clutch when I shift gears, but that's kind of hard to do, you know? Here we go, shifting gears. I never moved my foot. That's right. But it's kind of hard to really show that because my other leg would be in the way. I would have to have the camera somewhere over here maybe and one over here. I would have to have a full complete setup for that. But uh, I don't know. Maybe one of these days we'll get adventures like that. And we'll show you a little bit I guess. But uh, so far right now it seems like a little complicated to show you that. Other than that, it's not snowing, it's not ice raining. They put, I guess, lots of salt down on the road, so we're good to go. It's not slippery, so that's always a bonus. But it's that time of the year, you know, when you get ice rain. Well, it should have already been in November, but I guess it was too warm in November to get any of that, so... Oh, we get it in December, I suppose. Alrighty, guys, here we are coming into the Flying J just before Thunder Bay. That's right. I think we want to stop here at the Fuel Island. We'll just quickly clean our mirrors and our side windows. And then we'll go inside and take us a shower. That's right. Much needed shower. Hopefully we don't have a long line up there to wait for a shower today, so... Anyways, we'll be right back. We'll go ahead and clean our windshields and go do all that stuff we gotta take care of, it, right? But well, here we go, guys. We are still cruising along Highway 17 here. I don't know if you guys are gonna get bored of me driving in Ontario all day long, but uh, or all week long, I guess. But well, at least four days of this week that we've been in Ontario. But 
We're still in Ontario. <laughs> yeah, oh well, that's the way it goes. But we did stop at that Flying J as you guys saw earlier. And we grabbed us a shower and much needed shower too. It was way overdue for me at least. Plus we're going home tonight, so we gotta be clean for the old lady, don't we? Good morning. That's right. But the sun is uh, starting to kind of go downhill here, so I figured I at least get one more clip in before uh, before the sun is completely uh, disappeared out of no sight. But they are calling for a snowstorm up there in Manitoba tonight and overnight and tomorrow. And I did go ahead and call my customers, and good thing I did, because I was going to take a reset at home tomorrow and then continue on with my journey but uh, the customer said that they kind of want to have this first drop their ASAP as soon as possible so uh, we will have no choice but to just stay the night at home and then continue on tomorrow morning after our 10 hour break so we will do that that's no problem but uh, my wife ain't gonna like that too much, but hey, what can I do? I mean, they want it there as soon as possible. Well, I can get it there with my hours, I can. I really can. But that means we might have to meet up with the subscribers of us earlier than we had first originally set a date, kind of. I already talked to him earlier and he knows who he is. And we'll see if he has time when, uh, when I get there earlier. But we got something good coming up. If he's going to be able to meet with us, we're going to do something with the video. I think some of you might like it. Some of you have asked for it. But anyways, we're on the phone with Mr. Trucker Jukebox. So we got to get back to him and talk to the almighty Jukebox. That's right. So we'll be right back for you guys anyways. It's like just a flip of a finger. And we'll be right back, you know. And uh, hey, by that time we might be home. We may not be. You never know. There could all of a sudden be something happening here on the road. I might all of a sudden see a moose come up the road. Hey, if I get my camera turned on fast enough, I might be able to capture it, right? But anyways, with that being said, you'll all see me and one, two, three. behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the wall 